Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use the Finger or Sugar Bites artillery within Tractor, um, which will give you uh, more options to affect the sound, um, therefore creating new crazy patterns using those plugins. Now, for those of you who use Tractor, you know that you already get a good amount of effects. Uh, one of the problems with uh, Tractor, though, is, um, well, this is a, a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is you have uh, uber control over how your stuff is going to be set up. You have your effects to be routed into here and into here. Uh, but, you know, sometimes when you're in the mix and you're doing so many things at once, you may forget to turn it on, therefore um, ruining your mix or ruining that part of the mix because you forget to turn something on. But. Um, I have figured out a way to get uh, additional effects, and I'll show you what they sound like. Um, and that was just me triggering the effects with my MIDI keyboard. So the way you want to do this um, is you want to get, uh, well, for one, you want to try and get a VST that is an effects processor. Um, I highly recommend uh, Native Instruments, The Finger, or Sugar Bites Artillery. Um, both of those have a ton of presets, and they also allow you to make your own presets. Um, and they work uh, really well with uh, sounds and processing those sounds. So the way you want to do this is um, you're going to need another little program called Soundflower Bed. And if you see it, it's uh, running up here and it's, it's free to download. I'll put a link on the right. And that's pretty much just going to route your sound from Tractor into Ableton. And then in Ableton, we're going to drop in those VST plugins. So let's start our setup with Tractor. You want to go into your preferences. And you want to go under audio setup and make sure you have uh, Soundflower selected, 16 channel. And under output routing, uh, make sure that your master is going to um, Soundflower 0 and Soundflower 1. And that's it for Tractor. That's all you have to do. Then you want to open up Ableton and you want to go into preferences. And you want to make sure that under your input device, you have that same Soundflower 16 channel uh, device selected. And that's it. And then you set your output to whatever you need to. Then what you want to do is you want to create a new audio track. And in this audio track, um, the only things you have to change are your monitor. You change it from auto to in. And then from here is where you can drag in your effects. So I have in here artillery and uh, reactor because the finger from Native Instruments needs reactor or core to uh, run. So it's just a, a ensemble for reactor. So then you want to make uh, however many MIDI tracks. I, I just have these two because I'm only using the finger and trigger bites artillery. And then from here, you just want to route your MIDI to uh, audio the audio one track we've created, and then you just want to click Reactor because that's what we're going to be affecting. Um, and you know you would do the same thing for artillery, except you would affect um, artillery. And then since we're going to start off with the finger, um, what you just want to do is just you just want to arm the track, and then we'll go back into our audio channel where we have our effects. Um, very important. You have to drag your effects into the audio channel, not into these MIDI tracks, or else it will not work. So let's open up Reactor. Uh, when you open up Reactor, it's not going to have the finger loaded, so you just click on this little folder, and you click on the uh, finger ensemble when you install it. And then here are all the presets that come with it. Um, I haven't messed with it too much, I'm trying to make my own. Um, I did start doing some. Uh, they're a little time consuming, but they're not hard to make. Um, but pretty much, uh, 
once you get started, you can select one of the presets. Um, for now, I'm just going to use uh, Glitch Chopper, which is uh, one that I particularly like because it really uh, jacks up the sound, which is um, what I like, you know, with some of the tracks that I, I play with. And then all you have to do is uh, launch Tractor, play Tractor, and then you just, um, if you want to view what you're doing in Reactor, you can, and this is... And you can press up to um, six keys at once, um, pretty much like two different chords, and uh, really affect the sound that way. Um, conversely, if you wanted to use artillery, you just have to click it on, and then in the template that I have, all you have to do is arm it um, up here, and then let's go ahead and close the finger and open up artillery, and then... You know, they have all these cool uh, ball colors. And you can just start jamming out on the keys. And that's pretty much it. Um, you know, you can use any VST plugins that you have. You don't have to use these, um, but you know, these obviously make more sense for when you're mixing. Um, and then, you know, you can just minimize it and run it in the background and you can just be using Tractor the whole time. You don't, you can still use it. You can still use it um, while it's hidden in the background. And then one of the cool things about this is if you want to have a loop effect, it's still playing the track, so you're not stuck in the same phrase per se, um, it's still going. So that's cool, it can help you um, time out when the phrase is going to drop or when the new chorus is coming in and then you just let it go. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the finger and that's artillery and that's how you use them in Tractor. Um, questions, comments, um, go ahead and drop them and I'll try and answer them. Thanks.